Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. Today we're gonna to talk to you about another way that trade professionals use to wind up their extension cords on the job site. We're gonna look at some cord reels, compare some of them, give you the good, the bad, and ugly, stick around and I'll show you what I mean. Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. Today we're talking cord reels. Now, we have produced many episodes about winding up different power cords and we get some people that just ride and say, why mess with all of that? Why don't you just get yourself a cord reel? It's really easy. Just wind up the cord on it and it's fast. You can throw it in the truck and get, to get home or set up quickly in the morning to work. Well, here's a little bit of just some of the common cord reels that we found at our local big box store. And we're gonna show you a little bit about the pluses and minuses of them. Now, one thing that is really interesting on no matter which cord reel you use, when you wind up cords like this or around uh, an H handle like this, or even this type right here, which you can see right here, the photo, how that is meant to be used, well, all of them have inscribed somewhere on there, make sure you unwind the cord completely before you use it. Now, that is a statement of just making sure in case there is a problem with heat up or that sort of thing, the manufacturer is not responsible. The reality is I've seen these used on the job site for many, many years and very rarely are they fully wound out. So really, what gets done on the job site is just not over, um, over taxing the cord with too much power draw to cause a problem. But if you wanna be absolutely safe and follow the manufacturer's instructions, you're supposed to wind out the cord completely. Well, let's look at a couple different types right here. This is just a plain spool cord. Um, it essentially almost looks like the hub of a wheel. Uh, where um, or a rim of a wheel where you have two flanges on the side a crank a couple places to catch things here uh, inexpensive probably between five and ten dollars for one of these they'll last a moderately uh, long time what you're going to do is they have a couple little straight feet on the bottom allow you to stand it like that many people just stow them flat like that and that's really how they ride around in the construction vehicle now there's a couple things on this that i would mention one um, you, you end up having to put the plug in out the side and then when you stow it um, you have to pull this through here and clip it into the side. So this particular manufacturer, I don't think thought it out really well, and here's why. The side where you can put these through and hang them out uh, when you're winding it up, for instance, when you're winding up the cord like this, as you crank this up, the cord in is whacking you as it goes. And you say, well, just use the other side. Really? They didn't put the openings on the other side, although you could just, dangle through this, but on a triple tap like this, uh, I just had to hang it out someplace. So I could wind it out the other side, but the way they designed it to put it, clip it through like that, you have to kind of do a workaround if you don't want that cord in whacking you. How this is used in, um, in reality, you hold this reel right here and as you pull it, it simply plays out. You would plug this in or tie it off on the side where you're gonna energize the cord and then roll this out to where you're gonna work. And at the end of the time, uh, here we'll just do this. At the end of the time, you're just gonna wind up your cord like this and uh, work to try to get it as even as possible around there. And that's how the cord reel works here. And then you would just tuck the end in through one of the side openings. So, so much for that type of reel. Now, second one we'll look at here is an H type. And if you look down inside here, this has got a kind of an interesting uh, little feature. Uh, you plug in the female end of the cord into this little male uh, connector here. And then what that does is that energizes a triple tap on the bottom. So you've got this right here, you wind this around. And one thing we found out right away on this, and this is probably a 10 to $15 device, that you have to use a very light gauge cord on this. This is, I believe, um, a 14 gauge cord and it does not want to go in the clip. So I'd either have to shave the clip. So they're thinking this is actually going to be used with 16 gauge. 
I don't like to use 16 gauge cords on the job site. I think they're asking for problems. You can't really put a lot of capacity onto them. But you know, you could use this like this and kind of wind this around and stow it. And uh, so there's, you know, one way you can do it. It's not really a reel, it's really more a wind up device, but that is another way that you can handle it. Now this particular one is kind of interesting. This is just a handle. It's got a nice, you know, ergonomically, uh, it's pretty nice. It's got a place you grip at the top. This right here, this piece you see right here, is meant to be cut out, knocked out, and then mounted right there to create that little stand you see right there on the photo so that this would stand up when it was wound up. Um, you know, uh, it's okay. Uh, and then you would wind the majority of the cord or a sure amount up in this section up at the top, as you can see in the picture, and then the majority of it down below and then secure off the cord right here. So this gives you a place where a lot of cordage is wound up in a short area and easy to handle and carry to the job site. Inexpensive, again, 10 to $15 or something like this. Uh, and works reasonably well. So if you want a fast, easy way to do it, that'd be fine. Um, that's that. Now, there's another type that I wanna mention to you here, and that is where you're not providing your own extension cord. Instead, what you're doing is purchasing a little uh, spool that has the cord wound up in it, and then you have a set of outlets out here. Now, a couple things to mention about this. This one's really inexpensive. Here's some other ones that I just took some photos at the local big box stores to show you some of the types that are available. And so like anything else, you're gonna get what you pay for. The higher the price point, the better features, better construction. There's a feature that uh, you wanna probably look at, and one is this is a manual wind up. So when you pull this and you've used it out there, when you're done, you have to take the spool here and you have to wind this back like this. Sometimes it works smoothly, sometimes it doesn't, uh, but you know, uh, that's the manual wind up. Some of these have almost like a tape measure, the idea you let it go or push a button and it's got a recoil spring in it that winds up the cord for you. They're moderate in length, uh, and as always, when you are drawing power from a set of outlets that are powered by a single conductor, the total draw on those outlets cannot exceed the wattage the, uh, rating uh, and amperage rating that this cord can supply. So you just need to watch those. So that's another way to get power on the job site uh, and that makes it easy at the end of the day to do it. If you'd like to check out one of the other methods for winding cordage, check out this video that we produced for you. And while you're at it, take a look at this other video that YouTube thinks is perfect from our catalog for you. Hey, until the next time, this is Dirt Farmer Jay from DirtFarmerJay.com.